Hey guys, it's James Trains here, ready for another great review. So, today I'm reviewing a very special model. It's new out from Backman. I don't really buy new out models, but I didn't realise until I got home that it was a new out from Backman. It's the Backman 64XX. And just to put that over there, here is this stunning little model. Um, this model is in BL green, which it was a prototype, as it says on the back, but I'm not going to show you the back because I mean, it's quite a lot of writing. But yeah, so for people who really like their locomotives to be historically accurate, maybe this isn't the one for you, unless you're obviously a, the back, I don't know, the pannier testing lab, whatever. So, <laughs> um, don't know what I was saying there. Um, so this model is fab. I really, really like it. It's it's neat, it's crisp, sorry about that, it's crisp, everything's great about it. Uh, if I if you just take a look at the livery, it is very nice, especially the badge. The badge is on point really nicely. Ooh, went too far. It's really sharp, so is the number. But these are nothing compared to the amount of detail inside. As you can see, you can see a little red handle there. But if I turn the locomotive round, bear with me a moment here, you might just be able to see, if I just put it in the light here and zoom it out, look at the detail inside there. It is fab. I mean, I love that little um, water valve thing. I can't remember what it's called, but it is absolutely tremendous. The coal in the back is pretty realistic. Um, it's shiny enough now. If I put my hand there, maybe. Where's the light come from? There. It's pretty realistic, but it doesn't bother me. Um, but personally, I, it doesn't really bother me. Coal is not one of my main priorities in a locomotive. So, I love these lamp irons on the back. Um, I love that little extra. They're, they're really nice on the handrails. They're very neat, and I think they're separate from the body. Yep, they are which I really like, I haven't seen that on a model before well, I don't know if I have, I don't really look, but <laughs> um, yeah the whistles are also very nice um, they're, I think, yeah, they're separate and very nicely, neatly painted moving down the model to the front the, can't really say much about the boiler door, but you know I don't know if I'll be able to read that I think it's 86, 56, don't know, but I really do not know, but it's very nicely done. Um, this, you can see the little holes you get, if I just get the box right here, you do get some really nice little extras, to be honest, with this model. Um, for example, you get the, whoops, that'll do it some good. Uh, you get some cosmetic hooks, you get some pressure valves, and some chain. Which is just them little extras which just make the model, you know, a real favourite. So, I really do like this model. I am going to test run it. Um, I'm going to do a, for, I'm going to do a slow test and a speed test for them people who just like knowing about how much speed it does but to be honest I don't think it really matters about speed so um, bear with me guys I will get, oh by the way I just need to say no sprung buffers which is kind of a disappointment I love sprung buffers but I'll give it a review at the end so I'm gonna bear with me guys while I get my layout out and um, we'll carry on from there so it's on the rails nice and steady i always think these locos look like they're not on the track because that rod but you know it is on the track so basically my controllers are over the other side of the layout so let's test how slow it is going to go what well, can go
Well, that is pretty impressive. That's the slowest it can go. It's literally juddering past there. To be honest, I think that's pretty impressive. So, I mean, do you really need to go any slower than that? Be honest, do you really need to go any slower than what that just did? So, next the speed test just so you can see how fast it can go don't ask me but i did it on my last review which was the class era 6 review so i'm going might as well continue doing it right the sort of pointless but i do it anyway because it must matter to someone somewhere um speed test so oh wrong way here it comes so full speed now Yeah, you can't really do any faster than that, it's a pilot. Round again. On half speed, it's much better if I just quickly bring it round. That's on half speed. So, to be honest, not that bad. Now, I'd like to say the pannier is handling this load with real ease. There is no wheel spin at all. It's going backwards because I think it looks better backwards. Not because it can't pull it backwards. So, now just for a general run around the layout. Go well. So, the Backman Pannier, to be honest, I really, really like this model. I have to say, during the filming of this 
um, review when I was running it. I did have a few derailments with coaches, which obviously wasn't the pannier's fault. But it doesn't, it's not great on the inner track, but it does work. Uh, it works some ways, um, but it doesn't go well over the Hornby points. Uh, but that's probably just my nailing, there's quite a few gaps in it. Um, also, you did see that clunk, but that's nothing, to, I just want to assure you that's nothing to do with the loco, sorry about that. That was a gap after the point set of points, which obviously um, there's a lot of pressure on that point at the time when it goes over, and that gap there just makes um, makes the locomotives clunk. So, mark that a 10. Running, I am going to give it a 10 out of 10. It's super smooth. Uh, it's kind of silent um, after you've run it in. Because I do recommend running it in, if not it makes this really weird noise, um, like a croaky noise. Um, but um, sometimes it can derail, but that's mostly because my radiuses um, are quite challenging. Especially this bit near the good shed, because it tightens at one point, because it's made with a, it's got like a kink in it. It sort of goes sharp out and then goes sharper again. Um, so it does well on my track, which I'm happy with. Uh, a price of seventy nine ninety nine to be on. Well, where I got it from anyway. Um, I personally think really good price um, and worth every penny. I got this from York Model Shop on my birthday after seeing the Railway Children one. Sorry, just annoying me that seeing the Railway Children one at York when it was there. I think it's still there. But obviously, you might watch this video after a, quite a while after I put it up, and it might be back at Shildon or wherever. But after I saw the pannier um, of the railway children, couldn't do this seeing this after at um, at the model shop in York. So um, detail ten out of ten. Uh, I can't see anything which they missed out. Um, detail inside is superb. Um, I think that's what you're paying for, to be honest. Um, but worth every penny again, just so I can point that out again. Um, slow running, 10 out of 10. Um, just great, a great model. But I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. Uh, reason why is because this is the overall summary. 9 out of 10 uh, because it it just needs a few adjustments for example I think the wheels need to move a bit more freely I don't know if that's something they can do or the model just doesn't allow it to because it might lose realism but to be honest it's not designed for these radiuses and I'm pretty surprised it does go around these radiuses these radiuses because it's something that's going around in my mind pulling power is superb I could have put more on there, but I just thought I'll show you how much it can, and I bet it can pull much more. I bet it can pull all these four Mark ones on top of that because it had it was not spinning at all when I went slowly with it just before I started recording. It was just crawling. It it was crawling along, no slip at all. So I say thank you, Backman, for this great model. Um, um, obviously this I brought this as my for my brushwood pilot and it does its job to the best of its abilities so that's all from me guys I hope you enjoyed this video like comment maybe if you've brought one or I don't know you just want to comment on the video uh, shame I didn't have a better tr track to test it on but obviously my layout is still under um, building I'm still building my layout but um, like, comment and subscribe for some more great videos. And that's all from me. Goodbye.